Hi guys, welcome to the second lesson of the second course A2. So, of course, as usual, you can download the book for free from the video description. Uh, in the last lesson, we finished till page six. So now we are at page seven. So first of all, we have vocabulary, conversational English, match the phrases one to five from the dialogues with their synonyms. A synonym, they have the same meaning. Uh, opposite or antonym is the opposite of synonym. So we have hold on, you can't be serious, what are you up to, how is it going, nice one. And then we have five meanings, great, how are you, I don't agree with you, what are you doing at the moment, and wait. So first of all, hold on, wait, hold on, wait. You can't be serious, you can't be serious. It means I don't agree with you, I don't agree with you. We can also say, are you kidding? So I think that this is not true. For example, let's say that someone told you, uh, Barcelona is the best football team in the world, and you tell him, you can't be serious. It means I don't agree with you. What are you up to? What are you up to? What are you doing at the moment? What are you up to? How is it going? How are you? How is it going? How are you? It here, it can mean life or your day. How is your day going? How is life going with you? And finally, nice one, it means great. For example, somebody tells you a joke and you say, haha, nice one. It means great. Okay, after that we have grammar, present simple versus present progressive. We talked about both of them in the grammar section. You can check the grammar uh, playlist for a full present simple and present progressive videos. So the present simple, we talk on the phone all the time. Mobiles don't work in tunnels. Present progressive or continuance. I'm just sending a few emails. I'm not working this week. Okay, so we have four, A, B, C, D, and we want to match them together. We talk on the phone all the time. So this is usually or repeatedly. We talk on the phone all the time. Mobiles don't work in tunnels, so this is a general rule. As a general rule, so they don't work in tunnels. I'm just sending a few emails, so this is right now. Right now, I am doing this. I'm not working this week, so this period of time. So only this week, I am not working. Usually, I work. Stative verbs, we also talked about this in the present continuance video. They are verbs that can't be used with ing. I don't want to watch sports right now, and I like it. So both of them are stative verbs. We can't use them with ing, so we use them in the present simple. So we have an exercise here. Let's check it together. Complete the present simple or the present progressive of the verbs in brackets. What you do here, Dave? What are you doing here, Dave? So this is present continuous. What are you doing here, Dave? Okay, if somebody asks you, what do you do? What do you do? It means, what's your job? What is your job? So what do you do? Maybe he will say for a living. So what do you do? What do you do for a living? So you tell him, I'm a doctor, I'm an engineer, I'm a teacher, whatever. I am waiting for the underground just like you. So this is what I'm doing. I'm waiting for the underground just like you. Underground, synonym for subway. I know that. I know that. Of course, I can't say I am knowing that because no is a stative verb, so we can't use it with ing. I mean, where are you going? You usually don't use the underground. 
I mean, also present simple, because also a stative verb, where are you going? So I want to know your plan. Now, where are you going? So we have usually, so we use the present simple. You usually don't use the underground. You have a motorbike, right? You have a motorbike, also a stative verb. I can't say you are having a motorbike. Yeah, but I want to go to the city center and the underground is the best way, no traffic. So I want to go, present simple. Yeah, I hate driving in traffic too. I hate driving in traffic too. The second conversation, where is Gordon today? Uh, he is not working in the office this week. He is not working in the office this week. I don't understand. I don't understand. So this is present continuance. This is present symbol. He's not working in the office. I don't understand. Every year, Mr. O'Brien sends people to London for seminars. Sends. Present simple. Why? Because we have every year. That sounds interesting. Do you want to go next year? I can talk to Mr. O'Brien for you. Thanks. Do you want to go? Also present simple. Speaking. Talk in pairs. Pretend to ring your partner and discuss your plans for today. Ring. Phone. Call. So you phone them, you ring them, you call them, and you want to discuss your plans for today. Use some of the phrases in the boxes and the ideas given. So we have museum, sports, festival, or dinner. And we have uh, some phrases to use. This is an example of the conversation. Hi, how's it going? Not bad. What are you doing? Nothing much. Do you want to... So, sure, why not? Of course, why not? This is a good idea. Of course, I'd love to. Sounds brilliant, amazing, wonderful, nice one. That would be great. How could I say no? It means, of course, I say yes. Sorry, so this is for acceptance. This is for refusing. Refuse, the opposite of, accept. Sorry, I have other plans. I'm afraid I am busy, I am not available, I am occupied, maybe some other time, no thanks, I'd like to come, but, so here I give him an excuse, I'm afraid I can't make it because, okay, so let's uh, try one of them, hi, how's it going, not bad, what are you doing, nothing much, do you want to go to the museum? Uh, sorry, I have other plans. Oh, really? Okay, what are they? Actually, it's something private. I can't really share it with you, but maybe we can go to the museum some other time. Okay, okay. Okay, now, this is, we used one here in the refuse. Let's accept, but let's try something more interesting, like dinner, for example. So, do you want to go to dinner together? Yeah, sure. Where? Uh, let's just come to my house and I can order pizza. Okay, that would be great, for example. Okay, so uh, maybe you can try this with a friend or uh, if your friend is not available, try to do this yourself to improve your speaking. Thank you for your time. See you in another lesson.